عصفور طل من الشباك وقال لي يا نونو خبيني عندك خبيني دخلك يا نونو خبيني عندك خبيني دخلك يا نونو قلت له انت من وين قال لي من حدود السماء قلت له جاي من وين قال لي من بيت الجيران قلت له خايف من مين قال لي من القفص هربان قلت له ريشاتك وين قال لي فرفطها الزمان From a universal point of view, just from a universal humanist point of view, what the Israelis did in 1948 is a crime. And it's, it's important to understand it's a crime not just in order to bring, you know, criminals to justice. When we are talking about Palestinian refugees, we are, in fact we are talking about three quarters of the Palestinian people. Three quarters of the Palestinian people I don't see myself that you can like have any kind of solution to the conflict without to resolve their problem. We are talking about more than 7 million. And a young Israeli at the age of 18 that goes to the army is taking part in the same catastrophe that began in 48 and has not, never ended. Mm -hmm. People are still being expelled from their houses. Mm -hmm. The houses are still being blown up. Their uh, rights are being systematically abused. So it, it goes on. denying the green line and the new border for them is the is 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 the is the way of the of the wall the obstacle the main obstacle to solve the palestinian refugee problem is that israel don't allow to these refugees to return just because they are palestinians yes. i mean just in case i mean palestinians they are jews so israel will will come them to to return and then they will uh, will give them a uh, citizenship and you know all of these like uh, uh, conditions uh, good living conditions just because they are jews and as i know i mean since the 50s until now uh, since the 50s the israeli have a law uh, called the return law that any jewish person in the world have the right to get a uh, citizenship in israel just because they is a jewish yeah. Even if he don't, don't, doesn't speak Hebrew or don't know anything about this place, but he has the right to uh, get citizenship in Israel. At the same time, the Palestinian refugees who just like were displaced from this area just before like few years, having the right to, to, to return just because they are Palestinians. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the problem. I mean, this is the main obstacle. And I think this is the most racist consideration that can, 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 can be, I mean, just like to a lot of people just to have uh, citizenship because they are uh, from one nation and to prevent people and to deport people first and then like to prevent them to return just because they belong to, to the other nation. I think it's the most ethnic racist uh, policy that can, can be and it's, it's exactly like what happened in South Africa.
there was actually invasion in the camp. So uh, during the invasion, it's uh, always uh, curfew. And that day, the Israeli entered the camp with angry movement, following everyone. And they face this guy. There is two groups of soldiers, one of the, in, uh, from the front of him, one in the back. And the, the, the groups in the back, one of them, he had the gun two meters far, and he shot him on his uh, shoulder near his heart. Uh, and uh, bullets entered his heart and uh, they uh, let him blood uh, blooded in the street until his blood finished actually two of his friends they try to they, they try to come and help him uh, but the israeli uh, forbid them and uh, they started to beat them one of his friends he got shot by a rubber bullet in his shoulder and uh, the other one they started to beat him until they broke his two legs and uh, they arrested him.